สวัสดีครับ Hello everyone and welcome to English Club. I'm t o s a t h a m b i m s a m b o o n Today we have a very special guest with us today because first she's beautiful, second she's talented, all the perfect quality of a working woman, and yes she's training to be a newscaster for NBT Newsline. Now you may have heard of NBT Newsline, and you're going to meet the face of NBT Newsline, the future, right here, right now. So please welcome k u l u k a o สวัสดีครับสวัสดีค่ะ Thank you for being on our show. It's very uh, exciting to have you here today. So obviously you're working for Newsline um, NBT right now, which uh, is yep. on this channel. Yes. Uh, but before we go into that, could you please introduce a little bit about yourself? Um, yep. Yeah. My name is l u k a o My nickname and my real name is s i g a n a k a w i s u t At the mm-hmm. moment, I just graduated from j u l a l u n g o n University, uh, Faculty of Political Science, and majoring in international relations. Right. And what I said before at the start is that this phase is going to be the future of Newsline Hopefully. for NBT. <laughs> Hopefully. But you are working for Newsline right now yes. um, at NBT. What are you doing right now for Newsline? Well, at the moment, I'm in the training process, mm-hmm. and um, I'm writing scoops, translating, mm-hmm. yes. and doing the whole behind-the-scenes pro- uh, process, all yes. of that. And mm-hmm. I've been there for about a month, so it's been exciting. Yep. Yeah, and for uh, all of our audience who doesn't know what Newsline is, well, Newsline is uh, it's about the news, reading the news, but it's all in English and it's all on NBT channel. Yeah. So. You graduated in j u l a l u n g o n University, and you've been studying in Thailand. Yes. Why did you decide to pursue a career in English newscasting? And also, you finish in political science and international relations, rather than journalism or mass media. Yeah. But you decide to do. English newscasting for Newsline. Why is that? Well, actually, I was quite interested mm-hmm. um, in journalism and news since I was in like uh, year eight, year nine. Mm-hmm. I actually had work experience in Australia while I was living there yes. um, for the school uh, work experience. Mm-hmm. And when I came back to Thailand in m a t h i o m Five, yes. I also did some training work experience at NBT Newsline, mm-hmm. where I'm doing now. And I talked to uh, Mr. k i t i Mm-hmm. The boss of Newsline and said, "Well, if I want to be a news reporter, mm-hmm. um, what kind of study should I do at that moment?" And he recommended international relations. So wow. I'm following that path. Yeah. To keep update <laughs> with all the news around the world. Yeah, exactly. Because um, political science, you you're more informed with the mm-hmm. knowledge. Say mm-hmm. you're reading a news, you have to know the knowledge behind it. Yes. So I thought that's a good idea. And um, political science is very broad mm-hmm. with lots of uh, topics and subjects. So, how are you finding it so far? Your experience working for Newsline? Good, good. Well, it's yeah. very early in the morning. <laughs> I have to start working at 5 a.m. Wow. But yeah, it's very early. But um, so it's you must wake up at like 4 a.m. Right? Yeah, something <laughs> like that. <laughs> Some people are still sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> but it's very challenging because mm. every day I have to, I'm updated with the news, and um, I have to think about what words to use, mm-hmm. and uh, it gets you thinking a lot. And so most importantly, I find it challenging. Yeah. Most importantly, you do something that you love as well. Is yeah, that right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And it's really good for skills, I think. Yeah. Mm. Now, um, as I said before, uh, you study very hard. You're working very hard. And before you went into Newsline, you also did some previous work uh, while yep. you were studying as well, right? Yes. What work did you do? Um, I was actually the. I'm the brand ambassador for Double A. The wow. Paper company. It's yes. a very big paper company, yes, and yes. it's Thai as well. Oh, yes. So um, about the double A, you could you tell us a bit about being the brand ambassador and how did you get that position? Well, actually, it was like a competition. Mm-hmm. So I had to go through a process of selection from like 3,000 people sending their clips in, the judges choosing 200 from 200 going into a panel of judges, mm-hmm. picking 80 from 80 to a stage of 30, wow. going to camps, and then for the selection process, there was like a big stage. So what was this challenge called? It was like a search for the brand ambassador, double A I girls, international mm. girls. So there were 3,000. Yeah, and then down to eight. Down to eight. Yes. And you were one in the eight, right? Yes. Amazing! Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> How did you get in so far? I mean, what what did they look at? What qualities did they search for that you had? Well, the, out of the eight people, mm-hmm. uh, I think they look for different all types of qualities. Some people are very talented at language; yes. can speak a few languages. Mm-hmm. Some people are. You have beautiful presentation skills. Mm-hmm. Some people look like supermodels, <laughs> and I'm not very tall, so that's not me. But yeah. Right. 
So you I, had, I think I'm friendly. Yeah. So you must you must have won with your language skills, right? Because your English is so good. Maybe the English helps Probably. too. Yes. Now being the brand ambassador of a paper company, which is Double A, which is a huge, huge company, yes. popular all around the world. Um, what roles did you have to do in being the brand ambassador? Well, basically, you just have to be. Uh, you have to represent them, especially if there's big events such mm -hmm. as CSR meetings, mm -hmm. or um, they also do CSR events where they uh, send the brand ambassadors to represent yes. them. We have to meet the people. Sometimes we have to go with the boss and uh, many kinds of duties. Like I've I've been helping um, young children at local schools, rural schools, giving them mm -hmm. the paper tree and mm -hmm. like teaching them how to put it in, like giving out. Um, things. Yeah, like <laughs> and, charity uh, yeah, and charity, everything. Charity, charity. Mm. Yeah, charity, charity. And um, also like reading books, like stories and so stuff as charity work as well. So it's voluntary work rather than just, you know, selling the AA brand or selling the papers. It's more about helping the community, helping children who are less fortunate. That's the role of the uh, brand ambassador for AA, right? Well, as well, but like at, say at an important CSR meeting, we yeah. have to talk to business people about the AA mm -hmm. model mm -hmm. and what it's like, what's good about it. So we have mm -hmm. to do all that as well. Depends on, yeah. Amazing. And now that you're in the top eight, are they trimming it down even more and searching for the number one? No, or is it no, just that, eight? There's, there's no number one. It's no, just no, eight. <laughs> just eight. So, and you're one of the eight. Yeah, so you, so we're you're at the now. final part. Congratulations yeah. again <laughs> for being the brand ambassador for Double A. Now, apart from being the brand ambassador for Double A and also working for Newsline, and yeah. one day we'll see you read the news hopefully. for Newsline, hopefully, <laughs> which I'm sure you will. What other work do you do as well? Now, because I'm. Um, in reading your profile, you do so many things. Tell our viewers, what do you do? Well, actually, um, I also have a love for the entertainment industry. Mm -hmm. So I do some acting and um, I've been in some music videos, music uh, videos. namely uh, AB Normal. Wow. Pop that one brand. was a very popular band. Yeah, popular the song band. received really good feedback, mm -hmm. and um, I got got to wear like a, a student uniform mm -hmm. in it, so that was fun. And um, I'm acting in a sitcom and like a movie series as well. Wow! Yep, so, so just to, that. just to get this right, working for Newsline, trying to be a new cat newscaster, and being a reporter at the moment, brand ambassador, actress, working in. Uh, Sitcoms, movies, and also MVs. And there's Amazing. Some, uh, there's some ads as well coming yeah. out soon, I think. Yeah. What are some of them? Well, uh, the ones that I've already shot are some ads for Gifarine, mm -hmm. Garnier, and um, some for the future of Vitamilk. Yeah. You know, uh, Otoya restaurant, mm -hmm. the Japanese restaurant, yes. and some collagen products as wow. well. So that's coming up. <laughs> well, so we'll, I guess we'll see, be seeing you in the entertainment industry and in the multimedia more often now, especially Maybe. being the brand ambassador and trained to be a newscaster for Newsline. Great. So with all these jobs that you do, working in the media, working in the entertainment industry, yep. what is the best thing about being in this field of work? Well, the best thing for me is that no matter how tiring it is, because uh, it's very time consuming mm. and tiring, but... I'm really enjoying it. Mm -hmm. I get to try different roles. I get to do different things. So it's always exciting meeting new people all the time mm -hmm. and experiencing new roles. And so it's really good. I really like it. I really enjoy doing many things. I think I like mul multitasking. <laughs> <laughs> and of all the many things that you do, what, which job are you currently most impressed with that you look back and you say, wow, I can't believe I did that, but I did it. Well, I think if you talk about one thing that I was impressed with, mm -hmm. it would be one back in the early days in uh, Matiom 6. Uh -huh. Oh, no, Matiom 4, actually. Four. I, um, I actually won a speech competition mm -hmm. and I got to represent Thailand. I won up to the national stage mm -hmm. and got to represent Thailand in the world stage in London. So that was like exciting for me because you had to go through lots of stages as well. That is amazing. And what kind of speech was that that you had to represent Thailand? Um, it was like a English speech competition. Mm -hmm. And I remember I did my speech on like global warming and you had to write <laughs> wow. your own speeches. And each round there was like you have 
the school round and mm -hmm. then you have the state round, the region round, like so I had to go through many stages. Mm -hmm. Each one you have to write a new speech, memorize it and then prepare for the impromptu questions at the end. Right. It was all very uh like a lot of pressure for I me understand. at that age as well mm -hmm. and I finally did it and my mum and dad were really proud, so just like being the brand ambassador of Double A, you yeah. fought your way right to the top. Yeah, they were proud. That is amazing. That's the best thing. <laughs> now, what about um, some setbacks of your work? Because obviously, you're doing a lot. Do you have any setbacks at all or any problems that you are faced with? And if they are, how did you solve them? Definitely. At the moment, I think, because I work from 5 a.m. Mm -hmm. until 10 p.m. every night mm -hmm. for about a month now, and I'm not getting enough sleep. Uh, time management and health issues are something I'm really concerned about now. Mm, right. Yeah. So with time management, I just have to plan it all out, make it careful that I don't, um, that things don't coincide with each other. I understand. Well, uh, Kuluka, we're almost out of time, but before we go, uh, is there any upcoming projects that your fan club can look forward to? Okay, well, um, uh, at the moment I have a short series movie mm -hmm. coming out called Focus My Girl mm -hmm. and it's like a tomboy themed movie as well. Mm. <laughs> and then I have a series called Dr. Love where I play like a nerd called Lukao, mm -hmm. my actual name, and um, an MV music video by Kamikaze, yes. uh, a single called Thank You and some advertisements, yeah. Mm -hmm. And obviously, we can look forward to you being the face of Newsline in the future, being a newscaster. Hopefully. And just before we go, uh, for all the people who are watching the show and want to follow you, how can they follow you? Please tell everyone where they can visit you or your website or maybe your f fan page or whatever. Uh, yep. yeah? Well, I'm a, I'm a very social girl, so you can find me on um, Instagram and social cam. My name mm. is at L-U-K-G-A-L, -L, so Lukgao, it's this, the name for everything, pretty yes. much. And I have a fan page, uh, Lukgao Si Kan fan page. Mm -hmm. So that's L-U-K-G-A-L, uh, S-R-I-K-A-R-N fan page. Right, so anyone who's a big fan of Lukgao, you can follow her either on Instagram or on Facebook. And ladies and gentlemen, this is the face of the future for NBT Newsline, and she is also currently the brand ambassador of Double A paper as well and obviously you have a lot of upcoming projects so good luck for all your future endeavors thank you and kuluka we're out of time so thank you very much thank you for being on our show so ladies and gentlemen you have seen one very talented working woman who is pursuing a career in the entertainment industry she's still very young so i guess she'll be sticking around in the entertainment industry into the foreseeable futures and we're out of time for today so check us back next time to see more amazing people with amazing talents. We'll see you next time. Swadikap.